Oh, we do. But first, you know, Susan and I felt that since ABC 15 partners with APS to bring you all of the fun, we decided to take it upon ourselves to make sure we do our part in making sure everything is perfect, taking care of the fine details. We are going to learn how to clean balloons yes. today. That's why first off, here. is yep. this hard? Oh no, it's not hard. Okay. But they, we do have rules. Uh, I need you to take a glove first. Okay. Go on to that. This is kind of a tradition. Okay. Uh, blow it up. Push it off a little bit. And then whenever you're out there working, you will just say, put these down. Move over. It's time to get started. <laughs> have to do in order to, I mean, how difficult can it be, it, right? it is not difficult. First thing we're going to start off with is a balloon. That okay. helps. Okay. Yes. Uh, and we have one waiting for you. It's Santa. Okay. And yeah. we're going to inflate it. Then you're going to take a look at it. We're going to clean it off. You'll make sure that there's not any tears or punctures or anything. Okay. Once it looks pristine, then it's ready for our parade. Well, I've got my right hand. You've got your Yeah, so they were perfect. Really together. <laughs> All right, so you guys grab a, a little towel there. All no, right, you go here. ahead. Oh, you, gotta, you gotta get the feel okay. of this. Okay, so, so spray. So what you're gonna do now, this is one of our older balloons, but again, we've taken good care of it. So if you see anything, you know, dirt, lint, cookies. Crumbs. Cookies. I'll get a smile. There's a yeah, lot there of candy. Now as you're doing this, uh, we traditionally will hum uh, Christmas tunes. Oh, really? <laughs> what should we hum? <laughs> there you go. <laughs> Not bad. <laughs> See, can, I think we can, can sing better it? than that. And if you ever saw it, saw it, you would even say it glowed like a light bulb. All of oh my God, we are so good. <laughs> <laughs> They're pushing it. They're pushing it. Uh oh. Uh oh. Sit Whoa! Whoa! Oh boy. <laughs> I think we have now lost. Santa. <laughs> and then things just went really badly. I think we're going to be really proud of Santa Looks when he beautiful. comes down the road. What do you think? Wow. I love it. What do you it. think, Looks guys? Great. Did they do a great job? You're getting yes. a applause. Look at that. Unbelievable. <laughs> Is the only word that we really have. And with us now, Terry Ricketts. He's the parade dude and APS events manager. And he's here along with Bob Berlin. He's the parade guru with the city of uh, with the Phoenix Parks and Rec. And they're here to tell us all about this fun event. I don't know if we could have any more fun than we already had. I have to say it was so much fun because you fell for everything. everything. And you guys, sinker, right? you guys milked it mm -hmm. as oh. much as you could. So Stop it. well, we got it past your eyes. Mm -hmm. uh, sorry. Oh, oh, anyway, God. we're good. So good. We'll go ahead now. They, they, you they, they earned a shirt. It. They, oh, you, yeah, they, they did. did. You they, guys they did. We earned them. Work, so we earned them. I'll say we look earned them. Look at these. Yes. Wow, look at that. Those are That's awesome. Oh, thanks, Bob you guys. Over. Fantastic oh, nice. event logo. Yep. Thank Very you. nice. Thank you. This is perfect. Terry, how long have you guys been doing this parade? Wow. We're up to what, 32? 32. Yeah, 32 wow. years. Wow, this yep. is so much fun. Okay, so thousands show yeah. up. For yes. those who've never been, what can they expect and what, what are you, how many folks are you anticipating this year? Well, I guess we're up around that 100,000 plus, plus, plus. Wow. Uh, this year, it's gonna be nice and chilly. Mm -hmm. So go early, take lots of blankets, uh, you know, be ready for the chill that's gonna be in the air that mm -hmm. night. But I have the feeling it's, it's going to be packed again. I, I, I think yeah. so too. It always is because it's become a family tradition for so many right. people. Bob, how does the city prepare for this many people and how do you make it easy and comfortable traffic wise and everything else? We, we try to get the word out early. We, we notify the neighbors. We, we have spots on the, the internet, on social media, okay. and we, we try to give people advice on getting down there. Use the light rail. Um, Come early, avoid the traffic jams. It's it's really a community event. You're not you're not just coming and sitting for a parade. You're sitting with your friends, your neighbor, your family, and we're at the point where we're on a third generation of people coming, and it, it's just a family tradition, and it, it's just a great time, and it's just amazing to see the people and the families we've, out there on the route. We've right. been in that parade, and those little eyes are sparkling as all of those floats <laughs> go by. Okay, it is a lot of fun, but let's talk about a few rules. Folks, do come early. They start lining. We can bring our own blankets. How about food? How about hot hot chocolate? What what can we not bring? <laughs> Don't bring glass. Okay. I mean, that, that's okay. probably the, the most logical thing. Uh -huh. uh, there'll be trash boxes all along the you know the route. So uh -huh. let's keep everything nice and clean for our beautiful city. Let's keep, make sure it stays that way. But you really hit it on the head. Is come early, 
be courteous. You know, folks are going to be putting out their blankets, their chairs, yeah. their caution they tape. They do come early and line the oh, streets. Yeah. Oh, what yeah. time are you shutting the streets down? We start taking lanes at 5 a.m. on Saturday, so it's a, it's a process that starts at 5 a.m. And, and works its way all the way up to the event time. But but the street closures and those kind of things start happening uh, in full force around 4:30. So you, okay. you, you with the parade starting at 7. It, you need How many plan. floats this year? We have well over 100 entries, wow. uh, and we've got some extremely large, big ones too. It's it's going to be a fantastic year. <laughs> oh, that's biggest. Awesome. We cleaned we, a few. We only I say that every year, but this will be the biggest and the best. Oh, uh, you always yep. say mm. that, and you're always right. Mm. <laughs> Thank you. You're right. Yeah. You're right. All right. And remember, it's going to be dark, so probably yeah. should bring some flashlights, right, so you can find your way around and, and get back to your car. All right. Let's give you all of the details as promised. Um, here's what's happening. Um, it's the APS Light Parade. It's the 30th something year, right? It's this yep. sat 32nd year. It's Saturday. This Saturday, it starts at 7 in Central Phoenix. Now, here's where the parade starts at Central Avenue and Montebello, and it ends at 7th Street in Indian School. And of course, for more information, you can always call 602-262-6011, but as Bob said, there's a lot of information on the website. It's a long one. Get ready for this one. phoenix.gov slash parks slash special dash events. Yeah, that's that so much one. fun.